I'm actually using my selfie stick. Now, I told you it was broken. The reason it's broken is because it swings around in a circle. I don't know if it's supposed to do that. Okay, so it's facing me, but I've got no light. Teddy's whining. Okay, is there light on my face? There is. Yeah. Hi. Not vanity. Done. Oh, so I'm just going to walk and talk with my broken selfie stick. Say, look, watch. Is it supposed to do that? Or maybe the best way is just hold it upside down like that, but then you've got to look at that, that there. Anyway, I'll put some masking tape on it. God, it's long, isn't it? Hi. I'm just walking and talking in my caravan. I'm just making myself a drink. Yeah, I wonder what's going on down that road. So the reason why the last one stopped is when I got the Samsung phone, I knew straight away there was something wrong with it. You know, it's got the two side buttons and they're where you put the gripper, you know, if you want to hold your phone. So anyway, I tried to put it in the gripper and I turned the phone off. But here we are, and that is why... I decided to use my $19.99 selfie stick. I'm holding in my hand like a spear. What is this? I don't like it. No, I'm holding it. I'm holding it in my hand. Look, like a spear. <laughs> and it's like a telescope thing. It actually hurts though, I told you. Okay, so anyway, I told you that doctor with the skeleton. Um, Billy sent me for him. And I thought, bloody heck, what, Billy, this guy is just going on about the rapture all the time. And, um, you know, you see the harm when people get really upset about, disappointed about the rapture. But me and um, Clegg, we're not, we understand you guys need to understand, he does not know about Loki, but I think he's starting to understand about the pantomime thing. The Lord gives you like, runs you for a practice, go. That's what all the Old Testament is, isn't it? It's a practice, go. It's all a typology. Oh, I sound smart. It's all a typology. So anyway, I'm going to take some paracetamol. By, Lord, by your stripes, I'm healed. Well, I'm not healed. Ever wondered why? Doesn't mean the Bible's not true. Does it? It's a miracle anyone can keep their faith. The way Jesus wrote it, <laughs> he's sent us all up a barking up the wrong tree, hasn't he? He's done it all. He sent us all barking up the wrong tree. He's done it on purpose to weed through the chaff. Yeah, that's the chaff. Like Chad. On YouTube, he's the chaff. He's got all those weapons. He's in the corner. He's that church. The one in the corner and the ruins. No roof. Who's got weapons? They don't want to give me any anyway. And I don't want their stupid weapons. Because their weapons don't work. Now, if I'm holding a spear. Is it a spear? Whatever it is, it's right above, above my head. It's something to do with my selfie stick. Me, myself, I. Me, myself, and me, myself. I love me, myself. I. Joan Armatrini. It's one of the Pied Piper songs. There's so many. Uh, up and away in my beautiful, my beautiful balloon. 
Wouldn't you like to stay in my beautiful little room? Wait a sec, how can you stay in a balloon? I suppose you can stay in the basket. You have to look at the words, you have to look at the lyrics involved of the song that way, that's my advice. You know, when I was, my entire life, I'd never looked at the lyrics of any songs. And one, and one thing that's unique about Marty is he studies the lyrics. He could have been on any quiz show and come out with a million dollars because he was so good on the lyrics. I'd only have to say a couple of lines to know what song I, I was um, thinking of. You know, some people have useless talents, don't they? But as long as they use them, they get to keep them. And they get more. Okay, so we're back to talents. Yeah, he didn't use his talents. And you assume they'd been given to someone else, but they haven't. Not yet. Not from what the Lord's told me. I don't know what the heck. How the heck he's going to do this timing wise. But I feel stupid holding this like a spear, but it's just the way it is. It'll be symbolic in some way. <laughs> I've taken my grass and I'm not going to hurt so much. It just makes you vain too, these selfies that you look at yourself. You get to collect them. Yep, he's right. He said, I watched the very last of his um, anti Palisade and Stake Christ video, which he did when he got back from his balloon height, because that's where we're at now. It was the same day as I did mine about the label clothing, right? I feel like I'm, I'm feeling so... My hair's clean, but it's fuzzy. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Right. If I turn this, we'll see what happens, eh? Yay, because this is, this is what Jordan put. Oh, well, it's like that. He put this new app I went in you guys saw a picture of his ear oh my gosh sorry guys are you dizzy you keep you turn me upside down lord you turn me inside out and uh, round and round so because of the button I can't put it in the center balance so when I sit like that see it spins around on its telescopic lens Anyway, I got it, and I got my masking tape, and I taped it, and I thought I fixed it. So that one telescopic lens at the end that it doesn't move on. But there's about five, five of them all the way down the thing, the pod. So basically, I'd have to stretch the whole thing out, put masking tape on it, and it would just be a long pole that you couldn't open and close. I can't find a way of jamming it. And it was funny because the guy got, who, he didn't give it to me, but I did, I, I thought it was $19. And there's all those nines in it, but I offered him 11 It's about nine, nine. Nine. Maybe that's why I just saw a police sirens with someone else behind them go over Chamberlain's Field because the, First time I heard about that, I know what I did when that happened, what I was doing, exactly what I was doing. I was doing a unit at school, at a school as a trainee teacher, and the unit was to do a PE, which is physical education, and they've just changed the curriculum, was about, oh, it's all about your feelings now, isn't it? Yes, it's when the school really changed to a socialist Marxist communist state. You know, just disgusting. Oops. Um, I feel sorry for the Z. They're all the same. They're all their age of Joshua. I know they're the same age as Joshua, my son. Now, there's a reason why I know that. is because he was the same age as my classroom, right? I was in a classroom. I had a classroom, and both of my kids, it was a year that we, that my husband and I, first husband and I separated, it was that year, I was a trainee teacher, was the year of 9-11, so 
because he's attached to the bottom of this pit, he got rid of me then because they thought they'd had this they had this thing wrapped up. So he thought, oh, assignment done. Let's, you know, he'd already destroyed my life, or he knew how he was going to do it, and he went and did it, right? By kicking me out of the house, wanting a divorce, separate with separation, he said, oh, I just want to separate, and I'll talk to you about, we'll assess it, and we'll talk about it in six months. Well, by six months, I'd already resigned from my job, because I'd had the dream where Madonna, his mother, and my mother, and I had rung him up. And I knew, because I knew, that he was going to take the kids. I knew because I knew that he was going to take the kids then. And I laid on my bed and I held my heart. And I felt grief, like the grief that the Lord felt in the Garden of Gethsemane. And I think I just tried to share that on the bridge on the 13th of June, which is the 17th now. That was a story I was sharing that I might have got distracted because I had all those people turn up at the bridge. Dez and Scotty, the troll behind under the bridge. The, that's who De uh, Scotty is. Remember I said to him, how's your goat? <laughs> Billy goat's gruff when you go over the bridge. Three goats go over the bridge. Okay, so how many goats were there? Well, I saw Scotty. It wasn't me. I'm not a goat. I saw Dez. Who was the third goat? I thought Dez's wife, who is Paul's sister, because there was two in that car, so you could count it that way, could you? <laughs> it was his, um, the big Billy goat. He went over last. Oh, maybe I was a goat. Anyway, the big Billy goat, the troll would always come out from under the bridge, and the big Billy goat kicked the troll off. That's a fable. That's what the sentient AI has told us. He made up a fable about a monster who lived in the bush, uh, in the forest, and the owl, which of course is Molark, and he said he was the owl. <laughs> and all the little animals, the beasts, well, that's just the human race, isn't it? Because we are the beast. But there was this monster and it was called a monster which you might as well might as well be james blunt you know the wee sweetheart he's in the army he's a little bit like chad from the false church but he's not saved well he doesn't claim to be saved um he's a sweet guy who did the song beautiful that he saw an angel in the church and then in that song surprisingly he says, fuck. Funny that, isn't it? It's like me, little sweet grandma. Not even a grandma, but whatever you want to call me. Lonely old woman. <laughs> You'll always be alone. Never felt alone since I left. Since I left everything. I've never felt alone. And I'm an extrovert. <laughs> this is not my personality to be able to. To be able to live like this is against my personality. <laughs> it's against the grain. Let's just say it's against the grain. I'm just trying to sort out the light, the atmosphere, you know? Is that better? Not really. Um, I've got Panadol sitting on the back of my neck. You still can't sort of see me, can you? It's funny, isn't it? Oh, I've just got the selfie stick just leaning there. Anyway, I'm just going to be up there making my coffee. I'll just walk and talk, okay? I've got 40 minutes. So. Maybe I should move that one. How's that? Would you get off there, Tribute? This video is about me, not you. It's not really about me. It's always about Jesus. I wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't for Jesus. Well, at first, I used to um, not say people's names, but now I just throw everyone under the bus. Do you know what? 
because that's what the Antichrist does. He threw everyone under the bus. The Lord showed me in 2018. Okay, so I hope you believe you've, um, Billy Goat's graph, 13th, that's what I ended up doing, getting in the car, doing a video about my clothing, which is Stony Creek, which are the two stones that Jonathan threw off the bridge. And I said, the one that's upstream, that I suppose that's my Joseph, just like she, he's got his Louis, because Joseph took me to court, right? And I mentioned outside, I'll just finish that one, about Emily when she was four years old. Joseph was already building a case because it was the first year we were separated that I was talking to Emily. And I was saying, look, we were all praying, me and the kids, the three kids, that daddy would come back and want to be a family again because that's what you do. I was very at peace about it. He just said that he felt maybe depressed or whatever and he wanted to separate. He didn't get he just lied. Anyway, we we fucked over Christmas and then I moved out on New Year. Isn't that strange? And uh, he helped me find a place. It's like the separation I've had with Marty. The Lord told me to leave and go up the mountain. He had an inkling I was going on the Monday and I left on the Thursday. I think the Thursday. He had an inkling because he came rushing and he used the car and he came rushing and he said, Marty, he said, why is the tank full in the car? Well, the tank was full because my boss had filled it for me. I was allowed to fill it with his car to work. Because I had um, taken a week's leave to look after my, apparently my, my temporary psychosis daughter. Well, I had to spend time with her after she came out of her assessment. And I took a week off unpaid, had no money, and I just told my boss, look, I haven't got money to drive out. It's nearly an hour's drive to get to work, and I said, I haven't got the money for this week. So he said, take the card, go fill it up. So that's why it was full. And then I went in the bath that night, and that's when the Lord told me to go. He said, you've got a full tank? Go. How the hell could I? It was a miracle that I got my tank filled. I had a full tank. And I knew that, and I just said to him, I can't go because I don't get paid. Look, let's just say the South conversation went. I, I can't go, God, because I can't get paid. And then I thought, oh, if I ring up and resign now, I'll get, I might be able to get paid out in time. But really, I get paid on Thursday, so I could leave on Thursday. Is that okay? <laughs> so that was the that was the twenty first of May. So the twentieth was a Sunday, which was Amy's birthday, which is a day of Pentecost in two thousand eighteen. That was the twentieth. May the twentieth, Amy's birthday. She's born at five fifty five a.m. Right. So here I am. Remember, on the thirteenth of June, waking up at. And waiting, it was five past five, and I was waiting 50, it was three minutes past five, and I had to wait 52 minutes until 5.55. And I felt like the Lord was going to take me, but I also said, just like Cleck had said the day before, that it could just be a pantomime, because I've, I've recognised as pantomimes, like the Old Testament. So anyway, we make, me going up the mountain is a pantomime. You got it? You getting it? Just like the prophets of old. it's he, There's nothing new under the sun. And he's just doing things, the same thing, until it get, until it really gets in. You know the Colgate ad? Does it get in? Is it, it really gets in. Like chalk. She puts it in some blue water, pulls it out, and you can see it's getting into the chalk eventually. And that's really strange that I share that because when I was at Brian's, there was a quiz show and there was a question 
And I thought I was so cocky, just like the hare of the tortoise. I thought I knew the answer. Because I, whenever there's an art teacher, an art question, an art history or an art question, they're the only ones I can answer. I suppose I could answer building ones. I'm experts. Everyone's an expert in something, right? I'm not an expert, but I know a few things about some things. Just like Marty's good at music. My husband's good at music. Lyrics. Oh, and he's good at history. He's good at cars. And he's good at motorbikes. Well, for me, it's been, well, it really is dogs now. But it's, it's for me, my life, it's been art, teaching, my passions. Art, teaching, I was passionate at teaching. Everything I've done, I've done passionately. And then um, art, teaching, building, construction, loved it. Like it wasn't, it's not being an electrician, it's not being a plumber, it's being a builder. Like Jesus, a carpenter. I'm smoking. Don't worry, the dentist told me not to. It'll get in the sockets of my teeth. But, um, I don't know, it's just got a feeling we're going anyway, so it doesn't bloody matter. It's fine. Even if I'm not going, well, if I am, I, there's a chance I'm going. Because the last word the Lord gave me to scribe, he said, all I have to do now is be grateful and give thanks. Well, I thought I had to finish the beautiful one. So he didn't tell me I had to finish it. So there's something up. Definitely something up, Lord. Anyway, so I'm lying in the bath working this out. And I thought, okay then. So then I can get my, I can get paid out and I have a wee bit more money. I said, well, I have to ring up my, I had a shit day at work. I was so bullied that day at work. Yeah, and then with what my husband said, that's when I just, I asked, well, isn't that curious? I've got a full tank of gas. And only yesterday, Amy had a birthday and you wanted everyone to come to the banquet. And I invited everyone and nobody showed up. And that was a pantomime because nobody showed up, remember? You know, Eric was talking about when he first went and hid in Christ. I think he spent, I don't know, it was eight years he spent quiet like this. I've only been like this for four years. He's an extrovert as well. He spent eight years like that in the Lord. The Lord spent, put us away in, in a cave. It's not a cave, it's like. Tomorrow's the first sunny day. It's light at the end of the tunnel. Hmm. Isn't that amazing? I don't need to know that. I'm ringing up. I'm in the bath. My husband's just finishing the gas. So I'm talking to God about the gas. I've made a decision to leave. It's the worst day ever at work. And um, they were all around me. Oh, I asked, I went into, I moved the boom box away because it was really demonic music. And my boss picked it up and put it right beside me. He said, you don't change or dominate the music or something like that. And, oh. Terrible. But it was the same day he filled up my tank. First thing that happened is I turned up and I'd been there the day before when they laid the concrete. Well, it was a Monday, so I'd been there on a Friday. I must have gone back to work on a Friday. And they're going on about me. Don't walk on the concrete. Like I'm some sort of imbecile that I wasn't there when it was laid pushing the bloody wheelbarrows. Look up. Oh, I've forgotten somehow over the weekend. I'm just going to go walking in the concrete like a dog. <laughs> it was a strange day, I tell you. And then I got a phone call. Guess how I left? This was the Monday. Guess how I managed. So that was the Sunday. And I went to work on the Monday. And that's what happened. And guess how I managed to leave that. No, on the. I, did I?
I already had an inkling I was leaving on the Monday. I'm telling the story wrong. Because on the Monday was the day I was bullied. We turned up after the concrete being made in the driveway. I was getting bullied really badly. I'd already had, we'd already, they'd already made this comment because I was, I was already sort of writing and, and I had so much going through my mind the whole time about the Lord was speaking to me. They had bits of cardboard on the back of my work pants and I was writing all the time. And they said, what are you writing? And I had to think quickly and I said, oh, it's my memoirs. And one of them walked away and said, what's an old woman like you got to say in, in, about anything? You know, like a memoir. And my boss, this is very professional, was walking the other direction. And for a person who's got one deaf ear, I heard very well. He what he said. And I said, what did you say? And this is what he said. This is what he said. He said, what are you going to call it? Memoirs of a wimp? Is that a good workplace? Is that a good, healthy workplace? <laughs> Wow, it was like, it's like Clex, oh, she's woken up. We've got one that we can see. <laughs> and they just turned on me. Oh, it was a horrible year. That was the first five months of that year, but still didn't, I wasn't going to leave. The final straw, so anyway, as that day went on, so we're talking about the 20th of, the May, of May, which would have been, we're talking four years ago, because by the 13th of June, I was scribing in my Bible, which was when I was here putting up my YouTube. I don't even know if I've put up the YouTube video of my last 50 minutes, have I? I might be done. What would you do in your last 50 minutes? So it was getting on for 5.55 because it was 5.02 that I realised. Oh yeah, and that's when I found my book the 13th of June and I realised this time four years ago, um, was when I woke up and started scribing in my book. I wonder what my first words were. Should we go and have a look at them? Why not? Here we go. I suppose God. Myself, it's, it is quite handy, isn't it? So it's back to front, but you can read 12. Book one, and there we go. I've got bank accounts and everything on the back of it. I didn't have any any other paper. Now, I had problems. When I showed my husband, he said, I can't read that. <laughs> I had problems writing it. But see how I'm tidy? I don't know if you guys have seen any of my scribed words, but they never look like that. Now they look beautiful. Like they're, they're like written once, never once corrected. Well, these haven't been corrected. Okay, but they haven't been corrected. But they're still, you know, they've got no paragraphs. And they're almost illegible. That doesn't seem that intelligent. I can't pronounce it. All right. Do you want to hear it? Yeah, we might as well. well. Let's hear from the Lord instead of me. And so anyway, I was in the bath on the Monday night. How I got out of work, this is what I did. I got out of work that afternoon because I got a, it, ironically, I got a text from the doctor saying, I guess I could get a free vaccine. Oh, see, they'll probably get me for that. A three flu shot. So... 
that's what I said to my boss. Oh, they're giving out the flu shots at New Brighton Clinic and I need to leave to go to the doctors to get a flu shot. 